<clears throat> Game number three. All righty. Now, has the lineups changed much? I'm still seeing 11 heavies from Reddit, which I think they've stuck with the whole time. Mm-hmm. Relic's coming a little bit heavier, though. They've cut down to five mediums from their initial seven. Retaining the Audi piece on defense and stuff. Mm-mm. It's going to be hard to tell what uh, Reddit are going to do. We'll see in a couple of seconds whether those mediums are going to commit west or east. But the direction of the mediums is sort of going to dictate what the heavies do and, and what we see here. Pretty standard defensive start from Relic this time, opting to go more, much more to the west than uh, any sort of me like medium-based play in the southeast. We've got Rodney again scouting through the middle with his patch at 25. And uh, double sitting up in the bush at the number two gap. Now, what I'm seeing from Reddit is what we've seen on map one that worked really well for them. They're putting four heavies down the six line. Now, I wonder, the difference between the first game is that Relic's playing really, like, heavy on the three line. They have way more mediums than they did before. <coughs> so I wonder if those mediums are actually going to light... It looks like they probably lit the 215s as the 215s are shooting from mid. As the mediums are going to try and get an advanced position on them in D3 to get flank shots. This will put the heavies of Reddit into a flank position. Where they're going to be shot from both sides if they don't move. As we witness Klaus taking two shots of fire. He's trying to share a house with Ledif. But Ledif said no because you didn't pay the monthly rent. So you're going to get evicted as Kloss is going to angle his tank to not get penetrated in an attempt to not get penetrated. Unfortunately, he does have a juicy little weak spot on his turret. I'm a bit worried that Midas is a little bit exposed here. Because when these mediums come crashing in down the south, those heavies are all going to have to tuck up behind that ridge. It becomes very easy just to sneak a medium down the, the red line the entire way and take out the, the Adi. Like, Reddit knows it's there, They've got a couple of mediums in the position, it's going to be interesting to see if they blind fire out double is just sitting in that bush, the same bush that everyone always uses. Now it looks like Reddit didn't pay attention to the cast the other night when Lazarus was talking about this bush. He says they really like to use it. We see double using it right now. Reddit should have been able to pick this out as they have the 140. Almost 80 meters away from the bat chat. I'm just making guesses. But that sounds good to me. As we see double, he's most likely have has the camo net on there. This is a dedicated role for him. If you send someone here, they must have Binox and the camo net to get maximum view range while being lit with only within 50 meters. Now he is able to see this whole area. Oh shit. Don't ping the map, rat, you noob. <laughs> Anyways, he's able to see this whole area down here. So he has probably four of these mediums lit, plus this heavy back here that keeps poking out. As we see, the relic heavies are just sitting here teeing off on Reddit. Thanks to the eyes by double. Genosis is going to take a shot. He's going to back down. But we do have an interesting play going on in B7. We have a medium trying to get some uh, information to see if they're going to try and run away. I don't like the path he's taking. It's far too wide. Yes. Surely he just cuts straight down to, to E8. You can tell with Sixth Sense, if you get lit, then there's someone out there to worry about. But you don't need to take a, a really deep path like that straight away. You can see with him coming straight south, that his field commander's just told him much to say. Yep. Now it looks like Ledif's trying to get to the position we talked about earlier, getting on the forward line. Getting underneath this hill so he can light for his teammates. They still don't know that Double is there. Double is still sitting there with Camo and Binox. Absolutely giving these E5s free damage. We'll have to check out his spotting damage after this. Right now, Reddit... Oh, the Bat Chat. Rodney Dangerfield with the flanks going to take out Strana in the 215 from that E7 position as we have already dinged for 97 he's not going to like that at all he'll be reloading in another 45 kicking himself as we see 
Stag in the 215. Go down to carry mode. Very nicely done by that. Relic has a really good position here, and Reddit's just shedding HP. And they're not really getting much out of this position. As the rest of the tanks are moving down the 7. And they finally get double out. Double gets taken out. Good play by Dwight and the 50 Bs over here. But pushing into these heavies of Relic is turning out to be an issue for Reddit. They're going to need those 50 B reloads. If they hope to even pull this one out. But being down six tanks, this is going to be a struggle. Relic's just up by, by over double the health. And, and one of Reddit's big problems is much of their HP is sitting on one or two full health tanks with just scatterings of, of HP around the rest of them. No, it's... And now as we witness I, I Relic pushing in to clean up the heavies in G6, we're going to witness Win getting destroyed. He's got his cheeks wide open as he's going to get penetrated by multiple E5s. That's never a good thing. We have Ebola. He is currently going to be cured. Plague Inc. shutting down the borders of Reddit. Relic's coming in to cleanse them. As we have 50 Bs both on reload. 22 seconds for Baron. 27 for See the Master, respectively. They might not even be loaded by the time they get mollywhopped by the, the incoming Relic players. As we see, See the Master taking a lot of damage. He's going to get taken out. They know where Baron is. There's shots coming in at him. Relic will be taking game number three and leading the series two to one. Very nice defense played by them on the three line. As we've seen in game one, it did not work out in Reddit's favor this time, unfortunately for them. So one.